Hi friends, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn about associative array, another type of PR SQL collection. I already have explained you about nested table and V array. If you are not knowing about that, I'll give you a link in description below, as well as in my cards. So you can go from that link to my tutorial and you can learn about nested table and V array. Okay. So uh, let's start the tutorial. Okay. So unlike nested table and V array, associative array hold element of similar data type in key value pairs actually uh, we don't store the elements in an estate table and we are in, in you know this fashion key value pairs but in associative array the data is getting stored in key value pairs actually I'll show you the thing in uh, my examples you will get to know in better way okay another thing is like nature of associative array is non persistent which means neither the array nor the data can be stored in the database all right and the third one is also similar to nested table associative arrays unbounded collection which means there is no upper bound or upper cap or upper limit on the number of elements it can hold all right okay so uh, let's see the example the, these examples will uh, clear your doubt in better way so this is the first example i have written here so what i have done in my declaration section i have declare the type first this type is of associative array type then i have created a variable which is of this type and then i have used this variable here in my uh, begin section i have stored some value into this variable and then i i get output or i or you can say i retrieved the value what i have uh, passed here okay so how to declare the type uh, rather than uh, this uh, nested table and uh, v error uh, the the declaration is slightly different from from there actually so type book hold here uh, this is the name of the type you can write anything this is user defined name okay so type book hold is table of number this is the uh, type of the data what you want to store and another thing is index by varchar to 20 so this is what actually index by we used to do in associative array we don't do index by in uh, v array and nested table but in associative array we use this index by is required actually okay what is this index by using index by clause we specify the data type of associative array subscript okay and uh, this is how we declared the type then we declared the variable of this type as we declare type is of uh, book hold so i have we have mentioned here the same type of data type of this variable actually v underscore book then under uh, the begin section i have written v underscore book and uh, this is our uh, index by thing what i have written here index by varchar 2 so here what i have done v underscore book uh, and under uh, uh, this single quote i have written python and the value of this uh, uh, this python is 9868 and another uh, data i have taken taken as javascript and the value of that uh, that thing is 9934 okay so this is how we used to declare or we used to pass some value in our associative array suppose you want to change the value of this uh, you know uh, variable this index by uh, data so how we can do that we can simply you know override it uh, saying the same thing v underscore book and the name of the index and any uh, new value any new uh, key value you want to give you can give it simply like this okay this is very simple and very easy to learn and how to retrieve the, the data using dbms underscore output package very simple uh, by calling the the index value somehow like this okay so hope this example is clear to you let me copy the example and uh, paste in our sql workshop Control P and run this code. So, uh, so as you can see, we got the output as value. Uh, value is nine eight six eight because we are printing value of Python. And let's see what's the key value of Python. It's nine eight six eight. So this is how we are we use to declare the value and we use to get the value. Hope this example is clear to you. Now let me show you another example. Suppose you have a lot of data in our in your uh, v underscore book uh, variable same as python javascript lot of data are there in the in that situation you want to retrieve or you want to print all the data so how you can do that you have to run a loop for that i'll show you in my another example here yeah so again see the things are simple declare i have declared the 
type first then i have declared the variable of this type then i have i have taken a counter here just to form form the loop actually okay so in my begin section i have written i have give uh, i have passed two, two values here python and javascript and in my in my counter v underscore counter i have taken v underscore book dot first so it will just take the first value from here from here okay and then after here i have written while loop while v underscore counter is not null then will will get into this loop and will print the value how we will print uh, using dbms underscore output package and here i have written key data here the counter v underscore counter whatever the value is whether we are printing for python or javascript or what and the value the the string value and here uh, the val uh, the data this thing this data actually key values okay and then i i'm taking the next value from here and i'm ending the block ending the loop actually hope this example is also clear to you let me copy this code and run the run in sql workshop control c let me delete the old code and paste it here and run run this so this time we will get both the value together okay so as you can see key data javascript value 9934 key data python value 9868 so hope this example is also clear to you how we can find if we have a lot of data here how we can uh, apply the loop on that and how we can get all the values from associative array okay hope the example and concept of associative array is clear for you for any confusion or out let me know in comment box and don't forget to subscribe the channel and please do like share the video if you like it okay that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much